First tonight, Maine is known for its potatoes, but this time of year it's all about corn. Well, corn mazes, that is. And there's one in Penobscot County that is catching the eye of people around the country. Photojournalist Kirk Craddy and I went to find out why. At Truergy Family Orchards in Levant, there is plenty of work to go around. What are you guys doing? Uh, we are just transferring the squash into the bin so that we can sell it. The flowers and apples are ready for picking, and the farm's goats are ready for their close-ups. Well, and snacks, of course. So my in-laws bought this land in 1983. Jonathan Kennerson is one of the current owners. When I was in junior high, my family moved across the street. There were attractive girls over here. I spent a lot of my high school over here, and I ended up marrying Gary and Patty's oldest daughter and I've been here ever since. Kennerson, along with his brother and their wives, took over the farm a couple years ago. But Gary and Patty's vision for the farm has been alive and well for decades. Their vision from the start was to have a pick your own orchard. They bought this land and they planted some trees and they had this great vision of being able to have a place where people could come out and be together and harvest their own fruit. And it was a rocky start. Yeah. Everything he did died oh. at first. And he's like, we're probably not cut out to be farmers. And after some other odd jobs, they finally gave it a go again. And in the mid-90s, they started selling some apples and slowly we added different things. In 2001, the farm added a corn maze to the mix. I think the first corn maze in the country was in 96. So it was still pretty new and people hadn't heard of them. And they said, we could do that. The corn maze itself sits on four acres and it's pretty cool in here, but to take it all in, you gotta go up. Yeah. That's better. I mean, look at this thing. It's huge. And yes, that is Winnie the Pooh. Pretty impressive, right? The corn maze has even caught the attention of USA Today. This is the fifth year in a row the farm has been nominated for the magazine's best corn maze in the country competition. Well, if you consider this an image, each one of these corn plants is a pixel. You know, and so we've basically made a giant image with corn plants for the for the pixels. Have you ever gotten lost? Oh yes. In the maze? Yes. It's hard to know where you are, especially with like this repeating pattern. I have yeah. no idea where I am right now. <laughs> <laughs> Very comforting to know. <laughs> yeah. The goal isn't just about making it out on the other side, but also finding six different check-in stations along the way. Oh, there it is. Oh, right around the corner. Found it, okay. Okay, so uh -oh. let's test your knowledge. <gasps> Okay. Trivia. Who wrote Winnie the Pooh? All right, who's the author? But how do you create something like this? John says it's a skill that's taken them decades to perfect. So we still use old fashioned surveying technology to do this. I mean, it's all drawn by hand, laid out by hand, spray painted on the ground by hand. It's all old school. Some farms, you can now hire a company to come in with a GPS tractor and just plant the maze. Yeah. And, um, and we still do it ourselves. And so you guys, you're out here, you're surveying, you have the design, you've got the paint done and everything. So do you, you just pull the stalks out by hand? So when yeah, they so we, start coming so we through or? Plant the whole field right? with corn and before it germinates and pops up, that's the day we, we lay it out, we spray paint the lines onto the field. And we learn to use spray paint, not lime, which like disappears if it rains. That makes for a lot of rework. Mm -hmm. So that doesn't go away. And then once it starts to germinate, we just, um, we'll take a little lawn tractor with a, with a piece of steel behind it and drag out the corn to, to kind of uproot the corn where the trails are. And that's it. So, I mean, it sounds easy, but. Is it hard? Yeah, is it, it hard? It is hard. And, 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 you, and when you're on the ground, you can't tell, well, like, where am I? I'm not sure. You're looking at a map. You're trying not to, is that line supposed to be there? Did we miss the line? So there are some challenges, but. We've, we've learned some tricks over the years. The tricks seem to be working. I think we're right here. How many times have you been through a corn maze? Mom, I need Um, once. Once? One other time? How did you like it? Um, it was really fun, but it wasn't at nearly as big as this. Oh. It is really exciting. It's really exciting. I will say I feel a bit nervous myself, though, thinking I would get lost in this oh. area. And you're with your kiddos, though, so. Right, yeah, Who's so there's always an adventure. Yeah. With the children, it's always an adventure. You do not know where we are now. I thought you were going to help us out, Kirk. Was, Isn't that the fun part about it, this, it, stuff? It, Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Go away. Get out of my face, okay? John says the farm gets anywhere from 40,000 to 50,000 visitors a year. 
a lot of those visitors are checking out the maze. Which way do we go? Which way do we go? That is the question. He hopes they leave with memories and maybe even a little more. It is, I think, the dream that a lot of people have. And a lot of people think, well, I'll just buy a piece of land and it will happen. I mean, this is the result of 40 years of hard work. Do you think your kids will do the same? Do they seem excited about taking over the family business? My oldest is a freshman in high school right now, and she's like, Dad, I'm going to have your job when I'm older. <laughs> so they want to right now, and they're already helping out. And they do not take for granted where they're growing up. They love working here. They love the variety of things they're able to learn and do. And so I would be surprised if none of them wanted to continue in this. I would love to see them go away, get some education, see the world, and, and come back bringing something more to it so that it can grow beyond where we've taken it. Kirk and I had so much fun visiting the orchard. And if you end up going to check out the corn maze yourself, make sure you try the pizza. It's so good. They make everything with local ingredients, which makes it 10 times better. And by the way, Patty and Gary Truergy, the original owners, they are still working on the farm as well. Jonathan tells me they're busy teaching the others how to get things done. And we're gonna find out on Friday who is taking home USA Today's best cornfield in the USA award. Of course, our fingers are crossed for the folks at Truergy Family Orchards.